morning. Um, I want to say this is such a joy to see a lovely community out to acknowledge Claudia this morning. The numbers and the diversity of the crowd speaks for itself. So I'm really happy and she would be. I want to acknowledge the family of Manchanda, uh, Claudia Manchanda and Diane Langford. It's through Diane that I was able to get. And Yami's here too. Oh, Yami, yeah, yeah, how are you? <laughs> to get all of the, um, the ability to do the work that produced Left of Karl Marx, The Political Life of Black Communist Claudia Jones. Um, in the audience as well is Ibea, who is a counselor for Banbury, recently elected, who is the publisher of this book, Beyond Containment. So I want to make sure you know about it, that you get your copy, because the intent was to make sure that this is part of the general knowledge in schools and communities and so on. And above all, it contains a lot of Claudia's work, of autobiographical reflections, poetry, her essays, lovely photographs, including including one we discovered from the hosting of Veronica Porter. I hope I got her name right, <laughs> Veronica Porter, which shows Claudia sitting actually inside. It's on page 170. So if you get a copy of that book, you will see that right in here. And I was really touched. When I walked in, I thought, this place looks familiar. And it was because of that photograph. I'm so thankful that you're doing this. And thank you for this work. <laughs> Uh, I want to talk about the idea of beyond containment because it really resonates today, the title that we use for this book, Cottage is Beyond Containment, briefly, right? So give me a minute. So containment was a geopolitical Cold War strategy put in place by the United States to contain Russia and the spread of communism. It had tremendous effects on African peoples who were searching then for transformational systems to counter years of extractive colonial oppression, which continues in neo-colonial systems. At the state level, it meant the killing of political leaders like Patrice Lumumba and others, removal via CIA-sponsored coups of people like Nkrumah, and the installation of malleable leaders, especially on the continent. And those of you who are following the news in Niger, Mali, and so on, but know that this issue has come back around again with the continued extraction of resources from Niger um, and the, the, the outrageous payments that France did not pay to Niger. But at the personal level where we are today, it was the use of institutions to, like the CIA to eliminate leaders through assassinations with, in the US with people like Harry and Francis Moore, it actually blew up his house on Christmas Day in uh, Florida, Medgar Evers, who was killed for trying to get people to vote, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X. But before that, before that, the incarceration and deportation of leaders like Claudia Jones. So she then is part of that group of um, leaders in the United States who suffered from trying to create transformational systems. And the point is that anybody who was doing any kind of black political work was dubbed a communist whether they were or not. In Claudia's case, she was both, right? So Claudia was one of the major black political leaders from the Caribbean, you know, you would know about Garvey and others, who saw the black stru struggle as global, world revolution as possible, to put in place an equitable distribution of resources. She was one of those eliminated from the US, but thereby, ironically, provided her in that short time with a larger platform to contribute both to her Caribbean community now resident in the UK, and to a larger audience of Pan-African political, intellectual, and creative people. She would do this with class, with style, with aplomb, until her untimely passing in 1964, in ways that this black today honors. So the book, Beyond Containment, edited by Ayabir, contains uh, autobiographical reflections, intellectual essays and speeches, including the famous essay at the founding of the first London Carnival, which I will just read briefly a section from. 